What's up guys, Matt McLeod here. I'm a part of the player development team for PGC Basketball. Today we're gonna to talk about becoming a lockdown defender, especially when you're playing against bigger, faster, stronger players. And the Curry-Durant splits have been interesting. The rest of the bench have come alive and then KD and Steph have found their rhythm again in the second. One thing that all great defenders know is they won't always stop the offense from shooting. They won't always get steals. But what great defenders do is they put the offense in zones of inefficiencies. They play the odds and make it very tough for good offensive players to be successful. Rand shot clock at seven. JD shot clock at three. So right now, when I'm guarding an athletic player like Jason, I want to take away his shot and take away his right-handed drive. I do that when Jason catches, I am already in his bubble, right? I have got my left hand and my left foot forward, taking away his right-hand drive. Now it'd be difficult for Jason to catch and shoot, and also I have no need to fall for fakes because I'm already in the space that I want to take away. Toronto, the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, best record in basketball. He's played eight minutes. He just gave 10 four minute segments. Well, he lost the first four minutes, but he won the second four minutes. He's trying to play some. I've taken away two of Jason's most likely options. I'm going to battle for the third. The only option Jason has is to attack left. Now, when Jason attacks left, most of us have been taught to slide and try to catch up with the basketball. That is completely inefficient. I'm going to challenge you to do this turn your hips and sprint. So now when Jason attacks to the left, I'm turning my hips, I'm sprinting, now protecting the rim, leaving a reactionary gap. The most inefficient shot in the game of basketball is a pull-up jumper from 12 to 15 feet. He is also taking a breather. So Maya Moore is gonna need to do some scoring. Jason's an athletic player. I know I won't get a steal every single time, but I can force Jason uncomfortably towards his left and forcing an inefficient pull-up jumper. We get stops. Great defenders look for stops. Helps you be a better defensive team. Fashion defensively for the Rockets when they open up the season at one and five. The Rockets is just failed in that second unit. So I, I'm sure Coach Moore is going to have to do a much better job of blending his second unit with his first unit. And you know what? I think that's a great point there. Durant got away with a double dribble, but that's not knock down the triple. Jason, let's show it to him one more time. On the catch, I'm in his bubble, taking away two, battling for the third as Jason attacks left. I'm sprinting, reactionary gap, forcing him into his pull-up jumper. Curry Durant splits have been interesting. The rest of the bench have come alive, and then KD and Steph have found their rhythm again in the second. He just gave 10 four minute segments. Well, he lost the first four minutes, but he won the second four minutes. He's trying to play some. If you like today's video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe down below. You can always leave us comments, let you know what you think, like our videos so we can keep giving you great content. Again, I'm Matt McLeod with PGC Basketball. Thanks for being with us today.